Hi guys, this is Nehmu Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on video tutorial series of how to make an online store using Magento. In this video I will uh, discuss how to display static block with image on category pages. In our last videos we have seen uh, how I have displayed a static block with the help of a widget on the home page but right now I will be displaying a static block uh, on category page. See, this is our category jewelry. This is the this is the main category, and I want to display uh, a static block on this page, on this category page. Okay, so let's go to our dashboard and create. Go to CMS and click on static blocks. Then click add new category and put it. Jewelry, identifier as jewelry, and uh, add insert image. Then click on browse files, and we have an image here to display on main category page. Just select that image and click on open, and then click on upload files and now click on this image and then click insert file that image gets pasted out here and now click on show hide editor now you can see that image displaying here and now save that block ok now let us come to our catalog and manage categories and here let's see okay. just click on jewelry category because in uh, jewelry is the category where i want to display my static block and here select static block only static block and products okay click on static block and products if you select static block then we will then uh, uh, then a static block will display uh, only a static block will display on that uh, jewelry category if we select static block and products both then both the static block and products will display on the main category page jewelry okay, is anchor no okay now so category okay, now click on main jewelry category okay let us just clear the cache and refresh submit ok now once again click on the jewelry category ok somehow it's not displaying Okay, I have not selected a static block here. Static block and products, and select the static block as jewelry, which is the one which we have created just few minutes back. Now save category. Jewelry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just go to catalog and click on manage categories. And now click on jewelry category and select static block and products. And then select the category which we have created as anchor now. And now click on save category. ok now let us check our category main category page ok now you can see uh, big 
giant image is displaying just above the subcategories of my main category so this is how we can display a static block uh, in our uh, main category pages okay similarly you can add static blocks to your rest of the main categories like jeans jeans and shirts also okay to do that you just have to go to your catalog and manage categories and then you just need to click on this jeans category and then you have to select static block and products and then you need to select the category whichever you have you have created for that jeans category jeans main category okay mm, then okay Okay, yeah this is how we can uh, display and we can display we can display a, a static block to our subcategories also this is our subcategories bracelets chains and earrings the way we have done for our main categories we can do the same thing for our subcategories also to do that you just need to select your subcategory and you need to select you need to do the same process whichever uh, for example jewelry then if you save then the same block will start displaying above okay let me do this okay now if you select bracelet which is the subcategory inside main category jewelry here also uh, that static block will start displaying okay this is how we can create a static block and display uh, it on our um, category pages okay i hope you like this video guys if you like this video subscribe to my channel and and thanks for watching in my next video i will show you how to edit your cms pages cms pages which are available here at the footer about us page privacy policy page contact us page and shopping info all these are the cms pages i will show you how to update all these pages and when i suppose we are whenever i click on the update about us page i get this kind of design and data and in my next video i will show you how to update or how to edit this content okay so i'll see you in my next video yes bye